Hi Pisces, welcome to your last few days of April and all of May 2017 financial reading for Mylon Girl Tarot. I do apologize for not getting these out mid-month. As promised, I did have a little family issue come up and was derailed for about a week or so, so I'm just late all the way around. That said, you may reach me, Island Girl Tarot, no, Island Girl 2008 at gmail.com. That's Island Girl with two L's on the end of Girl 2008 at gmail.com. And then Island Girl Tarot on Facebook. And thank you guys so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And with that said, Pisces, let's see what we have. I'm burning the money, blessings, and home uh, incense for us along with the sage. So let's see, Pisces, what do we have? Pisces. Oh. Okay. Wanted to jump out, so I let it. All right. Let's see, Pisces. Um, you know, it looks like again, uh, and I've seen this financial arguments within the family unit. Uh, over a lack of money or something that's come up uh, it could be you know that maybe your taxes were more here with the Knight of Swords is the overall energy so that to me is legalese that kind of thing I've got the five of Pentacles as the last card a lot of times to me that is a it's an unexpected bill um, and I just and it's right here with the five of swords and the four of wands is in the middle so I just really feel like it kind of goes like this. So I just really feel like um, I just really feel like there's arguments within the family unit uh, over money. There may have been a bigger tax bill than what you thought, um, and you're trying to figure out how to pay for it. It was very unexpected. The tower was the card that popped out. So to me, this whole thing was unexpected. I do have the Ten of Swords as the center of the reading. And I've also got the Knight of Pentacles coming in to help out. So I really feel like something happened, but you're going to be able to get it taken care of. This Knight of Pentacles, which is an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, is going to come in and either loan you the money unexpectedly or something to get you out of whatever situation this is. Um, again, like I said, it, it was unexpected. Just have faith that everything will work out. Don't argue too much. Again, that five of, of swords to me is an argumentative card that's a bully card that, you know, if you're going to win, you can win. There's more than one way to win. You don't have to just, you know, literally devour your opponent, whomever you're arguing with or whatever. Um, you're going to win the argument. I mean, the debt or whatever has to be paid. There's no question about that, okay? Uh, and it's definitely incoming. Um, so, like I said, I do feel like with the tower that it was very unexpected, but it was definitely within the family unit uh, here with the Four of Wands and the Lover's Card. And you guys are just going to have to make the decision on how you're going to pay for it, whether, you know, whether you're going to borrow the money uh, from a person that comes in perhaps, um, or you may, you may, here's the king of, of pentacles. I hadn't, didn't see him. You may go to the bank, uh, and your banker may be the, you know, the earth sign. But I just really feel like either either way, you're going to have the money to pay this debt off. Okay, so don't argue about it. It's not worth it. <laughs> well, all right, that was literally almost identical to the last reading or the one before that. It was just very similar, but it, it feels like it's a recurring thing that, you know, maybe now the IRS has kicked back these 1040s or whatever, and they're like, no, 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 you really owe this or what have you. Um, so I hope that doesn't resonate, but it's out there. And if it is, like I said, don't panic over it. You'll get it fixed and try not to argue about it. All right, Pisces, I hope you guys um, have a great May. I'll be putting out the love and the, uh, the general readings around the first of the month. So I hope everybody... 
So I hope everybody has a great new moon in Taurus and enjoy that great energy. And, you know, the bull is good and solid. And so let's make some great decisions and manifest some wonderful things. Take care. Bye-bye, Pisces.